Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good good day everyone. So I'm Zufarzana Zukifli. I'm your program coordinator. So for today, I will give a briefing regarding uh, the curriculum structure of Bachelor of Environmental Science and Technology with ANOS. Okay, the program, uh, the slide is actually in dual languages in Bahasa Malaysia and also in English. But my briefing will be, I will proceed my briefing in English. Okay, first thing first is the acronym of the program. Uh, why I want to emphasize about this is because uh, usually even your seniors, they get confused with the acronym of the program. So the acronym of the program in Bahasa Malaysia is BISTAS, which is Bachelor Science and Technology Alam Sekitar Dengan Kepujian. So B-S-T-A-S, BISTAS. But in English, it's BEST. Okay, Bachelor of Environmental Science and Technology with Honours. So sometimes you will hear, you will hear uh, people saying I, either uh, your, you are a BISTAS student or you are a BEST student. So it means the same thing. So for the program, uh, there are four uh, program educational objective, which means that uh, what, what are the, uh, the purpose or the, the aim of the program? Uh, to produce what kind of students or what kind of graduates. So there are four program educational objectives. Uh, the first one is to produce highly knowledgeable executive or officers in various environmental fields. To produce qualified or competent practitioners in offering services for solving environmental problems. To produce researchers or trainees who are able to apply technical skills and environmental methods in professional training and further studies. And lastly, to produce skilled workers who are creative, innovative and sensitive to the importance of maintaining environmental sustainability by educating the society through various aspects of life. So basically, how do we measure the uh, program education objective? It's actually after three to five years, uh, you the students have graduated from the program. So we aim that uh, you might, uh, each and every one of you might achieve at least one of the four PEOs. Okay, so uh, that is the aim, which means that the program is aimed to produce uh, the four types of graduates. Uh, within the curriculum itself, we have what it, what it is called a hasil pembelajaran program or in english this is the malay version so in english it's uh, the 10 learning outcomes okay so uh, the 10 learning outcomes are the attributes that are uh, embedded in the curriculum uh, uh, that uh, that will actually mold the students uh, to get the soft skill or the knowledge that we want so basically from the 10 we have first the po1 which is knowledge okay uh, the PO2, which is uh, technical working skill or psychomotor skills. PO3 is problem solving and critical thinking. PO4 is uh, communication skill. PO5 is interpersonal skills. PO6 is ethical integrity and professionalism. PO7 is lifelong learning in digital technology. PO8 is entrepreneurial uh, skills. PO9 is uh, leadership and PO10 is numeracy skills. So basically, the program uh, is designed uh, to have courses that caters at least three POs uh, in a course, which means that uh, for each courses that you take, the lecturers will actually explain to you what are the learning outcomes of the course. Uh, and throughout your four years in the program, uh, you will actually achieve all 10 POs. Uh, then only we can measure whether you achieve the PEOs that I have mentioned before. Okay, so the, cur the curriculum structure, uh, we have uh, the university courses or the co-curriculum. Uh, it uh, consists of 22 credits or 18.3% of your total credits. We have the core courses or kursus teras, okay, which uh, consists of 68 credits, 56.7% uh, of your total credits. And we also have the elective courses, which are 30 credits, 25% uh, of your total credit. So overall, you need 
uh, the credits that you need to graduate is actually 120 credits. So under the component of uh, the university courses and co-curriculum, it is divided into uh, several components, uh, four components actually. Okay, first one, for example, the U1 components, which is the appreciation of philosophy, values and history. So you have two subjects that you need to take, which is the philosophy and current issues and internalization of ethics and civilization. And the, the U2, you have the mastery of soft skills, uh, which you need to take the subject of basic entrepreneurship. Under the U3, expansion of knowledge about Malaysia, you need to take Malaysian nationhood. And then under the U4, practical community management skills, such as community service and co-curriculum, uh, it is compulsory for you to take two credits of co-curriculum. And then we have also compulsory university courses, which are the uh, English courses, academic interaction and presentation, academic writing, and also the niche of UPM, which is agriculture. So you, you need to take agriculture and life. And then uh, another optional university courses, which is thinking skills, is also included in your curriculum. So the total credits for the components of university courses is 22 credits. Next, you will have the core courses, okay, the core courses. So you, uh, this is 68 credits uh, from the total 120 credits. So the core courses are divided into uh, several components uh, which make, make uh, the body of knowledge in environmental science and technology field. So it's divided, for example, if you can see, it's divided into uh, basic and applied science courses uh, and earth and environmental sciences. Uh, and then on environmental technology courses, uh, practical and technical skill courses, soft skill and social awareness courses, and also integrated courses. So they, they are a list of the core courses which are uh, compulsory for you to take. Uh, you can also, uh, the, the courses are listed here, but the full name of the courses, you can actually refer to the uh, program guidebook. So the next one is the elective courses. So you need to take 30 credits of elective courses. Okay, bear in mind, this is very important. So uh, especially for BISTAS and BEST program, you need to take a minimum of 12 credit of elective science, uh, elect, environmental, environmental science elective, and another 12 credits of environmental technology elective. And then you will have six credit that is free. You can take uh, from any outside the department, outside the faculty, or even outside the university, uh, provided that it is uh, equivalent to the courses that we have. Uh, so again, what I, uh, I would like to emphasize, you need to take the minimum of 12 credit of elective science and 12 credit of elective technology. Okay, if not, you cannot graduate. So you have an 18, uh, 18 courses, choices under the environmental science elective, and you have 16 elective courses under the environmental technology electives. So you have a lot of choices. But again, uh, depending on the semester, different elective courses will be offered uh, according to the semester. So you need to check whether the courses offered are under the environmental science or the, under the environmental technology uh, category. So whatever it is, you need to make sure that you comply with the 12 credits for each environmental science and environmental technology electives. Okay, so here are uh, the list of environmental science elective courses. Also, this is uh, provided in the guidebook. You can check later. And here is the list of elective technology courses. Uh, there are 16 choices. And you will have um, six credit of free electives. Okay, so the six credit of free elective can be chosen by students from any universities, nationally or internationally, provided that the course contents are equivalent with the uh, curriculum structure. Okay, so uh, for the four years uh, of this program, uh, we have prepared you the study scheme. Okay, if uh, if you don't have any uh, special special requirement and so on, so please actually follow the study scheme carefully. 
So you will have, for example, in the year one, you will have 12 courses, which consists of 33 credits. So you need to follow the scheme. Uh, and then in the year two, you will have 11 courses, which uh, consists of 31 credits. In year three, you have 12 courses with 32 credits. And in year four, you have 24, uh, five courses with 24 credits, including the industrial training at your last uh, in your last semester. So the total for you to graduate is 120 credits. So uh, whatever it is, you need to follow the study scheme. But if you have any special requirement or any uh, mobility program or something like that, you need to discuss with your academic advisor. So to wrap up, you need 120 credits to graduate. Uh, it's a four-year program, okay, four years full-time. Uh, for each courses, you will have three learning outcomes, okay, with uh, uh, and then you will, uh, for the four years, all your courses, you will actually need to complete all 10 program learning outcomes, the 10 POs that I mentioned before. And then lastly, when you graduated, we will measure whether you uh, achieve one of the four PEOs. So uh, then you will receive the Bachelor Science, uh, the Certificate of Bachelor of Environmental Science and Technologies with honors. Okay, uh, I'm not sure whether you have, uh, you guys have heard it before, but for your information, uh, the Bachelor of Environmental Science and Technology is actually uh, accredited by the uh, heads of environmental science committee of heads of environmental sciences and the institution of environmental sciences of the united kingdom but bear in mind is that uh, the accreditation uh, has just has just been awarded so it's uh, uh it is actually for the current uh, curriculum and not yours but uh, in time we will need to uh, re-apply uh, for the accreditation for your uh, curriculum so once you graduated uh, you will actually uh, also uh, get the accreditation for your running program so but for now the accreditation is actually for the program that is running uh, for your seniors okay it la it will last between september 20 2019 to august 2024 Okay, so just so you know. So thank you very much. That's all for my briefing. If you have any question, feel free to go to our faculty website or you can contact any of our... Uh, you can contact anyone from the department. Thank you.